Hi guys, I'm in a new background, a new place, and um, that is a part of the reason as to why I haven't done a vlog for you, but I am definitely getting bigger, I'm definitely moving along right now. I am 32 weeks and three days into the pregnancy. Um, Lila is definitely growing, moving, um, so updates, um, I took my glucose test and actually the orange drink is not as bad as everybody makes it seem, like everybody kind of gives you like this scare, like oh my god, it's the worst drink ever, blah 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 blah, it's not that bad, it really isn't. So anybody who hasn't taken their test yet and you're going for your test, relax. It tastes like um, McDonald's high C. So I know every time when I go to McDonald's, that's what I get. So it was kind of, you know, regular. But um, you take it and then you wait for an hour and then they draw your blood. I don't know why I've been so like scared of needles lately. But every time when I like go for some type of test or something, like I, I get a little nervous. Like, my hands start sweating. I get a little nervous. So, you know, but even that doesn't hurt, you know. So, well, it's not going to hurt as much as labor. So I guess, you know, that's nothing. But um, you go for your test, everything came back negative, my sugar's not high, no, you know, gestational diabetes or anything like that. So that is awesome. Something that has been a little nerve wracking is she's head down. So she is ready to go, she is ready to come out. Um, me and her father went to the doctors last th Friday and um, they did a vaginal exam and um, my doctor said that my cervix, my cervix is thick and long so she, you know I'm not dilated or anything but her head is definitely down and then when I went to a, doctor, a previous doctor's appointment her head was down too so I'm, I'm guessing that you know She's head down until she comes out because um, I don't think she's flipping around anytime soon. I feel her legs like right under my ribs. So that part is a bit uncomfortable because, you know, every time when I feel her move or kick, I just have like that mental thought that, oh my God, she's uncomfortable. So I kind of like, you know, um, fix myself to comfort her. But when her arm, when her legs are in my like ribs, it's like she kicks and kicks, and that kind of hurts. So I have to just push push her a little bit, and it's so interesting now because I can feel like actual knees, actual elbows, and it's just it's nice. Um, it's a little painful at times, but it but ultimately it's nice. I've been feeling a lot of pressure, like a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure um down just pushing down so and then sometimes I'll even have like a sharp pain or two so that is something that freaks me out I honestly just have this gut feeling that she's gonna come before her due date I'm due April 6th and I'm just I just have this feeling that she's just gonna come before then you know I'm not rushing her or anything like that but I just have like this this intuition that she's gonna come before then because I think she's just getting tired of being in there and I'm tired of her being in there I want to like hold her already I'm just getting really really anxious so I've been having just you know mild mild and sharp pain like last night before I went to bed like I would get like a sharp pain in like my groin area and I'm not too sure what that is but I, I guess it's just like my body and everything um, preparing itself for labor so I've been getting that um shortness of breath I've been that is something that freaks me out like not being able to breathe sometimes so that sometimes I have to like just sit back and just catch my breath and you know that's something that's been bothering me I have been gaining weight <laughs> I'm not happy about it I am not um like I've said before, my appetite has picked up and 
it shows but it doesn't like it shows in my face I don't know if you can tell I definitely can tell like my nose it's not spread but it's just plump I, I'm I have a very small nose and my nose is just so I don't know it's like a I just want to push it. it's like a button so I'm not really too happy about that um yeah wait oh god weight gain um i know i'm complaining and i know there's other women out there that probably have it worse than me but i've just the biggest i've ever been in my life was 160 so for me to be right on that cusp and still have a month to go it's just like oh my god i'm just not looking forward to just gaining more weight in my just up uh, yeah Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. I don't like the weight gain part, but I guess it's good. It's good. She weighs about three and a half pounds. Um, last time I was at the doctor, I weighed 156. So, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all because I know women that are like touching 180, 190. And I'm like, oh, all right, girl, you do that. But me, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I, it's just, um, it's just an uncomfortable feeling. It's just a heavy feeling. So, you know, my breasts are, I, they, they are getting bigger, but not really. I don't know, but they are starting to get sore again. So I'm guessing that's because, you know, they're preparing for lactation and all that stuff. So yeah, my boobs, just the right one, which is weird. Like it just gets sore from, you know, every now and then. Oh my goodness, in this third trimester, it's like energy is just sucked out of you like crazy. Um, yesterday I went um, dress shopping, looking for a dress for my baby shower, which is soon. I'm so excited. So I've been looking for a dress and walking, walking is just like it just sucks energy out of you just get so tired and i don't like to be on my feet too long because then my hips start hurting and it's just really it's it becomes painful after a while but um i just been like my energy's just been um come i've just been drained um something new that i've been doing i i do walk a lot but lately i've been doing um, pregnancy um, workouts and I'll actually leave the link below for the pregnancy workout that I do um, I think it's good for second and, th and third trimester but um, either way I'll leave the link below and if you don't particularly care for the workout that I do um, you can just search in pregnancy workout and you'll just get a list of them and you just pick whichever one is good for you my advice is don't overdo it just do it to where you feel comfortable you know it gets your heart rate up and you know it stretches you out it I, I feel good after doing it i definitely feel good i'm someone that does yoga not on a consistent basis but i try to do it as often as i possibly can and this works Ooh, this works for me so um i've been definitely doing the workout so like i said i'll, I'll leave the link below for you lovely ladies um, yeah it's almost time we only have like eight weeks left i haven't done my diaper bag which I think I should soon, right? Like, when is a good time to do your diaper bag? Cause I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea when is a good time to do anything. I just kind of move with the flow, and I take one day at a time, and that's pretty much it. Um. Oh, also, I have to show you these pictures. Matter of fact, I will not show them because I don't know if it's gonna be a glare, and I really want everybody to see these beautiful pictures. Me and Kay went to a full. 4D ultrasound um, studio and we got pictures of our little girl. She is so funny. Like it's it's amazing to see like the personality that your child holds before she comes into the world. She is so funny. First and foremost, she looks just like him. Like that's his twin. I'm a little jealous. She has my cheeks, but she looks just like him. And um she is a character like she was giving us the middle finger she was putting her hand up she kicked herself in the face that made me sad because it looked like it hurt but i don't think it did but she kicked herself in the face and she was like moving and we caught a smile or two it was oh my god that experience even though it is a little bit expensive to be honest with you it really is worth it because you get to see 
you get to really see your baby and it was really really nice i mean obviously nothing compares to the actual holding her but i mean to if that's as close as you're going to get for the time being i would do it if you can't afford it then hey but if you can i would do it so um yeah i that was something that really that made us both so happy that day and everybody who has seen the picture they're like oh she's so beautiful I just really want to thank everybody for all the support and your beautiful comments. I see all of them. I'm not always able to just get back to everybody just because I'm always running around. But I see everybody's comments. It's so appreciated. Um, I love it. It makes me feel better, especially when, when somebody who's going through it, as I'm going through it, can tell me, like, oh, I'm, I'm feeling that too. Or this is what this means and that what that means. So this way I'm not just, like, in the dark oblivious to what's going on but um yeah that is it we have eight more weeks i can't believe it eight more weeks and then she will be here and i'm just oh my god i just i can't wait i can't i really can't wait so i guess i will show you guys my belly bump that has grown here is the belly i now have an audi which is so weird Ugh. I don't like that, but I have an Audi. So this is what it looks like from the front, from the side. She must, her butt must be over here because it looks a little lopsided. From the side, let's do the other side for you. And from the other side. So that is her so that is the latest update for what's going on with me and ladybug that's her little nickname my baby shower is next month and i'm so excited i can't wait to see everybody most of all i can't wait to eat the food Ooh, i love the food so i'll see you guys later thank you so much for watching and hi to all my new subscribers please leave a comment rate subscribe all that amazing stuff down below and i will see you on the next one Bye.